Video editing hacks save time, which helps you get your videos uploaded or shared with your friends, family, and clients even faster. And Power Director has some time-saving tools that I always use. So today, I'm gonna show you three video editing hacks that'll save you time in Power Director 365. Let's get to hacking. First, we'll talk about scene detection. If you have a long video clip and you wanna split it into multiple smaller clips for your video, this will save you loads of time. What you wanna do is right click on a clip that's in the media library and go to scene detection tool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on stop because there's a lot of clips that are gonna be created from this long video. And once you're done, you can click on okay and a folder is created within the scenes from the video clip that you can bring into your timeline as needed. If you wanna adjust the detected clips, check out my fastest way to cut video footage tutorial. Next, we'll go into motion tracking. If you want an object to follow something on the screen, this eliminates the need to add keyframes for each and every movement of that object. I have a title on track two, and I want it to follow the woman dancing on track one. So I'm gonna left click on the title. I'm gonna left click on edit. I'm gonna go to the tracking tab. And I'm gonna click on okay. Now I wanna adjust this yellow bounding box so it is around the object that I wanna track, which is the woman's head. And I'm going to left click on track. Now we can play it back to get a preview of what it looks like. If we like it, we can go ahead and play it on the timeline without that yellow bounding box. Now, if you wanna use the motion tracking tool to blur a moving object, watch my track and blur moving objects the right way tutorial. Now, I do have one more hack for your eye holes, but before I reveal the next hack, and by the way, the show ain't me, I need you to click the like button, subscribe to Power Director University, and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. Now, let's talk audio. If the audio from your clips are at different levels, you can use this tool to make them all the same level rather than adjusting one clip at a time. First, I'll go over a few ways to select the clips that you need on your timeline. First way is you can hold down the control button and just left mouse click the clips that you need to adjust the audio for. The next way is you can lasso clips by just left clicking on an empty part of your timeline and moving your mouse over the clips that you want to select. And the third and final way is you could do control A and select all the clips if you need to adjust the levels on all of them. Now, what you wanna do is right click on any one of the clips that you selected and go to normalize audio. Now, all of your audio levels are normalized. They are the same and they are in sync. If you wanna see three shortcuts that'll change how you edit, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and purchase PowerDirector using the links in the video description to help the channel stay alive.